Today's episode, how to sharpen your lawnmower blade. Hey everybody, this is Tool Dude Tony. On today's episode of How to Fix Shit 101, I'm going to show you how to remove the blade from your lawnmower and how to sharpen it on a uh, bench grinder. Check it out. These are the tools we're going to use today. I've got a bench grinder with a stone wheel. I've got a socket wrench with the uh, right size uh, socket for the nut on the to take off the uh, blade. I've got uh, protection, ear and eye protection. Oh, and also hand protection. Eh, gotta take care of your hands. And then this is sort of the miracle tool right here. This is a blade balancer. You can get these at your box store. This will allow you to make sure that once you've sharpened your blade that it is still balanced and you don't have that vibration that you could get without it. And then also a block of wood. This is just to, uh, oh, you'll see. Eh, just an old uh, log. First thing we're going to do anytime you're working on the underside of a mower is to remove the spark plug. On most mowers you'll find your spark plug here on the front. It's covered with this little rubber boot. Just grab it from both sides and pull it back. That's it, it's off. You can see your spark plug. Then just push this aside so it doesn't actually make any contact again. Then we'll flip the mower up on its side so we can get at the blade. Now, this particular mower has two bolts holding this blade assembly on. Other mowers may have just one big one in the middle, but regardless, you just need to remove these bolts. They could be stuck in there pretty good, so take your time. Maybe use some liquid wrench. Okay, you want to use a, some sort of a log or a brace or something to keep the blade from spinning while you're removing it. I just like to brace it against the ground, push the sharp edge of the blade into it, watch your fingers. Even though this blade is dull, it could still hurt you. Then just remove the bolts. This one has a washer on it. Be sure not to lose that washer. I'm just going to set it right down here. Come back at it later. Okay, this mower has two sets of blades. You want to be sure to put them back in the same order that they came in, so take a good look at it. Now this is the edge of the blade. It's got a little ding in it there. This looks like the original cut. Looks like this has never been sharpened before. So our goal when we sharpen this is to try and match this same shape of this edge. It's beveled, it's just down on one side. If you look at the back, it's just flat. So we're not gonna take anything off the back, we're just gonna take stuff off the front here, try and match this shape. Okay, let's talk shop safety before we get started here. We're gonna be dealing with some metal, some sharp metal, and a grinder. These things could cause physical harm. You wanna make sure that you've got some uh, eye protection. You probably wanna wear some ear protection too, because this is gonna get kinda loud. And uh, definitely wear some nice uh, shop gloves too, because this metal could get hot. And again, this gets sharp. It isn't going to completely protect you, but it'll help you a lot. So, let's get started. All right, here's how we're going to do it. This is the, the grinding wheel. It spins in this direction, goes down, which is a challenge. There's normally a, a guard on here that you can use kind of a tool rest for sharpening tools. But I want to sharpen it in the same direction that the blade is going. See, I've got the bevel here of the blade on this side. Okay, I want to be able to basically catch this lower part of the grinding wheel on its downward stroke and just get it to catch that edge in here. Now, so I'm going to use the side of this grinder itself as the tool rest. It looks like it's just about in the right place. I'm just going to draw this back. I'm going to make several passes like that until this thing's sharp. Okay, you can see that there, that this edge is pretty sharp, it's got your, uh, huh, that looks pretty good, it looks definitely good. I think that's going to work. This, this little device here is a blade balancer. Basically it's a point with this uh, funnily shaped cone on top that has uh, basically little uh, grooves in here for the blade to fit on. See those just fit right on there like that. Mm. Okay, you want to set the point back on this, and then you want to set your blade then on the blade balancer. Make sure you've got it 
even and setting flat. And you want to make sure that it's uh, that it's level, that it's not too heavy on one side. If it's not level, or if it's if it's real heavy on one side, go ahead and take it back on the grinder and grind it some more. Grind on the side that's heavy. But otherwise, you'll have some vibrations with the mower that uh, make mowing no fun. Now we're going to put the blades back on. Now, the blades always spin in this direction, so you want to make sure you've got the cutting edge, you know, towards the front so it actually cuts something. Now this was in upside down. We're going to make sure we give it in here right this time. So we'll set that there. Again, this is the sharp edge, even though it's not that sharp. And then this sandwiches below it. So we're going to put those two together. Yours may only have one blade, doesn't really matter. Practice is the same. Start the bolts. So we'll go ahead and put our block in place on the opposite side this time. So we're going to be pushing the bolts in the clockwise direction. Just tighten them down. Watch it. Watch your knuckles on this thing. You slip, you're going to hit that blade you just sharpened. That would be ugly. You have to explain that one to your wife. Or your wife, you'd have to explain that one to your husband. <laughs> How'd you cut your hand, dude? And watch it back this one, too. Okay, you want to get them tight. You don't want to over muscle it so you strip them, but you definitely want them tight. Yeah, because you don't want the blade coming back off. That's where the block comes in handy. You can't do this without the block. That's it. I'd like to thank you for watching this episode of How to Fix Shit 101. This wasn't too bad. You know, though, with the danger factor with that uh, sharp blade and that grinder, this should probably be How to Fix Shit 201 instead of 101. Uh, but hey, if you're comfortable with using a grinder, it's a piece of cake. You can save yourself a lot of money by doing this yourself. And uh, hey, I appreciate it. If you like this video, if you go ahead and press that like button down there, maybe subscribe to my YouTube channel. Hey, why not? It's free, and you'll find out when I post more videos like this one. Help you save money. And like I'm always saying, if you're not fixing it yourself, you're paying somebody else to fix it, so get out there and fix something. Tool Dude, out of here. Oh yeah, and don't forget to hook your spark plug back up again. Just push it right back on there, make sure it clicks, and it's on all the way. Okay, we're golden. <laughs>